Trash to treasure, trash to treasure, trash to treasure. Do we all cash me? I got gold nuggets, I got small dimes, I got me some quarters, and I'm gonna gonna cash in. Do we all cash me? Welcome to Trash to Treasures, where someone else is trash. It's someone else. Here we go guys, a nice little bed frame here, nice little cherry wood, has the back here, and the bottom piece, and then the side rails, pretty nice for, it looks like a full, full queen uh, bed frame. Alright guys, so what you saw right there was a beautiful little bed frame there, uh, good, you know, good condition, uh, just your headboard and footboard and some like little side rails, nothing wrong with that. Um, but the only thing though is that, um, well, I don't have a, a two bedroom. Um, nobody I know needs another bed frame right now. So I go ahead and just let that one pass and hopefully maybe someone that uh, needs an extra bed frame will uh, go ahead and pick that up. But um, also something that I've come to realize is that I will probably never buy furniture unless I want to absolutely spanking brand new. Um, this furniture is good condition, used quality, and so if you're ever decorating a two, three bedroom, I mean, we're finding furniture all day long. So that's something to keep in mind before you run out and go spend a bunch of money on uh, some extra furniture. How about a 20 year old compact computer monitor? That might even be 13 inches. All right guys, this looks really nice here. We got some heavy, heavy duty power plugs, some surge protectors. Then we got a nice little interstate battery. Um, I haven't found a place that recycles batteries yet, so I'm going to go ahead and scratch the battery. That could be potentially up to a $10 recycle fee for just that battery, but I'll, uh, I'll grab these here. Check it out, guys. We got an OGO golf bag down here. Nice OGO. And then a snorkel set, mask, and snorkel down here. Yeah, baby, just cleaned up that place. So it looked like someone literally just dumped all of their um, fitness equipment. I mean, I grabbed, I haven't looked through it all yet because I was just trying to grab it fast. It's about 12.15, but they threw away a nice OGO golf bag, still good condition. Um, that's probably worth, uh, you know, a little bit of cash right there. And then uh, beach volleyball with like a little case, um, a bunch of dive equipment, two masks, a snorkel, and then stuff looks like it's in good condition. I'll just sanitize the heck out of it, and I need snorkel and scuba dive equipment. And so, I mean, absolutely fantastic. I love it, I love it. Good scores. That was straight up a one-stop shop. That was surge protectors, that was dive equipment and everything. I mean, that was fantastic. That was like going to a sports chalet and just picking out some some a bunch of random items that you need, you know. Um, I mean, literally everything was in great condition. Even I think I grabbed dive gloves. Like they literally just said, "I quit all sports," and just tossed it on in. Um, very strange, very strange. I'm hoping there's some. Um, uh, maybe some nice uh, Pro V1 golf balls inside that bag as well. Uh, the only thing I did see was it had a rain coat on top of the OGO bag. Um, and again, this stuff was just set right on there, like all the sports equipment. So it looks like it's in good condition. Of course, I'll get close-ups uh, during the daytime and show you guys what that stuff looks like. Check out the briefcase. Look at this leather briefcase right here. That's worth snagging. So it looked like someone actually threw that briefcase right on top of some nasty garbage. So I went ahead and left it. It was a nice uh, leather one. I mean, a little worn, but uh, cool for like uh, a prop in one of my other videos or something like that. Um, but eh, I skipped it, you know, no harm, no foul. Uh, but uh, it was a uh, Samsonite, just like in the movie uh, Dumb and Dumber. It was a Samsonite. So I uh, got a couple more cans to check out and then I'm done for the evening. So wish me luck. So guys, that's just the name of the game. Right there, as you saw, um, that was one, two, three, four, five, six complexes. Six complexes in about an hour and 10 minutes. And I found everything 
Uh, well, I, I picked up a few little things, nothing major, but all the major things, one can, one can, that's it. That's the name of the game. That's dumpster diving right there. That's trash treasures is you're going to find everything sometimes in one bin after an hour, hour plus of searching. Again, six complexes. See, it's all about numbers, guys. It's all about numbers. So get this. So most of these complexes have average of about 700 units, okay? Most people, yeah, some people live alone. Most of these apartments are rented out by two or three people. So let's just up the average to 1,100, right? 1,100 people living in one complex. That's a lot of trash. That's a lot of recyclables. That's a lot of consumers buying, selling, buying, selling, getting rid of stuff. That's where I come into play. I grab it as they're over it, but it's almost like thievery, but not really because everything works. These bicycles have maybe a little issue with they can't get the nut back on the back rim. As you saw either this episode or last episode with the Schwinn um, woman's bike. The thing is gorgeous. It rides like a Cadillac. I'm talking little cushion seat. I mean, I'm, I'm going to take it from my wife. I'm not even going to give it to her. I'm probably going to use it as my commuter to coffee shop bike, you know? Um, I mean, we're looking, we're looking good. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Not this. Look at this. What's under here? That right there. I can spot it from a mile away. Coach. All right. I've got an umbrella here. Looks like a step stool, a little puppy case or something. What's this? Hey guys, check this out right here. We have this nice looking like subwoofer, Sony, Sony subwoofer. Looks like it's okay condition right there. But check this out right here. We got a beautiful, beautiful entertainment center here. Uh, like dark cherry wood, kind of that Ikea color, but I think this is actually better condition than Ikea. And then over here, check this out. We have this like uh, clothesline where you hang clothes up, you know? Alrighty guys, so check this out. So. Really quick on my scooter, I just zipped around to a few cans um, that look pretty full. And uh, these are kind of cool. Um, found some uh, uh, Thai silk made in Thailand, hand woven. Some ties, brand new in the package. Found two of them in uh, a box with another tie, but the other tie was already used, so I said, forget that. These are handmade, hand woven, 100% pure Thai silk. I might actually re-gift these for Christmas for uh, maybe my brother or my dad. Um, so check this out. Okay, even though there's nothing in here, I almost guarantee it. But I thought this was the coolest thing ever. Look at that. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? That was inside. And you're never going to be, you're not going to believe me, but please do. This was inside a box um, with a bunch of vacuum lint. It was kind of nasty. It was really dusty as you can see. It's pretty dusty. So there it, there was a bunch, it was one box with like a cable, um, cable, you know, for like a direct TV system, a uh, black tie that was pretty messed up, those two ties, and this uh, in one box. Of course I'm going to grab this even if it's empty because it's pretty cool. But it actually has some weight to it and like I said, if if they're in here, you're coming along with me for the ride, and I might have to wake up my wife if I yell really loud. But let's let's open it up. Let's see what's up. And I'm dead serious too. <laughs> I just literally just came back. It's Sunday night. It's late. It's uh, twelve twelve thirty. Anyway, if it's just a box, that's a pretty cool box. So, let's see what we got. Funny me. I think it's magnetic over here. <laughs> I was like trying to get that for a while. Anyway, magnetic. Let's see what we got. Uh, that's why it was so heavy. It's like they infuse this with like almost like metal. Just this is very heavy. And well, I see a cable. And they're not there. <laughs> but we got a cable and nothing there. And this is this was the other this was what was so heavy. Well they left the cleaning cloth in there for me. 
and they left the manual and of course that manual and of course no beats so the case and that are gone but hey not all bad kind of came up with a cool box and a nice little cleaning cough so again just for the excitement it was kind of cool these were the studios guys look at this I could open up a furniture store look at this coffee table here beautiful solid wood and we have like a kitchen table here all the kitchen chairs one two three four kitchen chairs and then this like end table thing Guys, this is the first time I've ever seen a ping pong table. That is a ping pong table. Alrighty, guys, here's another refrigerator part that I'm shipping out for $135. $135 plus shipping. It's been a fantastic couple days selling refrigerator parts that I found. And guys, here is the coach purse that I found underneath the office chair, if you remember a little bit ago in the episode. But a beautiful coach purse. I was able to sell that on eBay. And I found a matching wallet that goes with it as well. Really, really nice. And I found this thing. I don't think I filmed this. This was with the uh, coach purse and wallet. I'll get that on film as well. But this says F, but that's all right. Doesn't matter what it says on there. Nice little chromed out. Flips open for business cards. How cool is that? So I'm going to set my business cards right in there. And even though it says F, ah, who cares, you know? It's a really nice business card holder. All right, guys. Remember when I said that I scored the golf bag? Well, here it is right here. OGO Sport Stinger SKV. Beautiful gold, uh, golf cart. Um, not uh, doesn't have the stand or the uh, backpack straps. This is meant for strictly for a cart purpose use to strap in on a cart, but this thing is gorgeous, man. Um, it came with a nice Nike golf glove, which I got right over here, a little wrinkled, but still in great shape, very good shape. Um, so let's go back over here. Um, it had, let's see here, I wanna try to make this short, but it had, um, here we go, some more, another golf glove. Um, that one's a little bit more worn. Some practice balls in there. Um, this nice little kind of decal here for Las Vegas. Um, it came with the rain cover here. And then it also came with um, some, just some cheaper balls, some precepts that are right down there. Um, some precepts, what else? What's this? Um, we got chalk for some oddball reason. Um, so some golf balls and some markers. And what else did I find in here? Um, oh yeah, so a nice little little uh, soft pocket right here with a couple more preset balls. Just, you know, for practice balls. And then in this one here, let's see, I don't think there was anything in that one there, but a great overall condition golf bag. That's great. Unfortunately, well, I mean, fortunately, but um, I'll probably just sell this one because I have a very beautiful 
brand new OGO one right here with my clubs. So I'm going to keep that and probably just sell this one. So great score there. Then I mentioned all the dive equipment that was in it as well. So right here we have this beautiful underwater trident diving equipment bag here that has this pull up thing to open up so you can put your treasures or whatever you find. Well inside it was two, I'm talking brand new condition, beach volleyball, outdoor, and then I think the one on the right is indoor outdoor use, the one on the left should be only outdoor. But awesome, those are about probably anywhere from 20, 30 bucks a piece for those. That's great because I have my other one right up there, but that one's a lot older, so this is a great, great score here. Now let's move on to the other dive equipment. Here we have one of the masks here. This is a, a Vision. And it didn't have the strap on there, but it still looks great condition. No broken ends or anything like that. that. Looks like a great little mask there. So that was mask number one. And then, of course, some really nice dive gloves that are still in good condition with Velcro straps on the bottom. So little dive gloves there. Um, we have two dive gloves. And then and this one has a strap, but this is an older mask, but this is you know good for if you have company coming over and you want to just snorkel. So we have another mask there with the strap that I gotta reconnect. That still is a uh, working condition there. And then we have the dive booties here. Um, just slip on dive booties, two of those. And then we have a underwater light, a little beacon underwater light here with a little strap there, underwater light. And then our snorkel under here, which is, you know, it's older, but it's definitely a nice snorkel, so, uh, I mean, hey, free, you can't complain. And then inside this Puma golf bag are a pair of uh, golf shoes. Let me show you those here. So here are the Puma golf shoes. A little bit worn, but still, you know, decent. Just got to scrub them up a little bit. Pretty uh, big, too big for me. But, um, you know, still nice on the bottom. Still got the spikes. And comes with the spike removal and extra spikes here in this kit with the uh, the bag. Hey, not all bad there. So again, one and two. Pretty good condition, not all bad. And then I picked this up. I don't know what exactly it is, but it's dive equipment. So you got your strap here with your release thing here. And then this pulls apart like that. This pulls apart like that probably to connect maybe to that bag. I'm not really sure, but uh, anyway. Um, this is a great little find here because I am scuba certified and my dad picked up a beautiful tank at a garage sale right there. So great scores for my dive equipment. All right, baby, this is what we do when we cash in those hey, those trash to treasures. Hey, or with, with Jay Horta, Mr. Sleep, hey, what? what's up? Why can't I see your face? <laughs> Mr. Sleep. Hey. This is how we do. Welcome to Treasure Treasures Field Trip. We are at K1, baby. K1 Indoor Karting. Event number one of the evening. Alright guys, spot number two of the field trip today is going to be Sky High Sports, the trampoline place. Come on in as you see Mr. Sleep and Jay Horta and myself bounce around. Mr. Sleep! Jay Horta! Front flip! Woo! Jay Horta, last stop of the night. Where are we at, baby? Where are we BJ's. at? BJ! Get that punt,